Hello, welcome to the Androgyny 3 discussion. My name is Mrs. Morin and I'm here with Mrs. Wyatt. And we're going to talk about Androgyny 3 today. Your artist is Magdalena Abakano Witz Witz. Um, and this is contemporary art. The materials on this piece are burlap, resin, wood, nails, and string. Now, the intended purpose of the piece is that it is supposed to allude to the brutality of war and the totalitarian state. The body is a husk without arms, legs, or a head. It's an expression of suffering and both mournful and disturbing at the same time. Uh, your patron here, there's not going to be a patron, but the audience is for any people who have been repressed by totalitarian regimes, which what we're talking about here, um, Magdalena was Polish. Mm -hmm. And so she suffered through World War II as a teenager. And then Poland was taken over by uh, Stalin and her family suffered under the whole Stalin regime. And so uh, very much has been repressed as an artist for her entire artistic career. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing how different it looks from this perspective. Mm -hmm. And then when you turn around and see it from the other side, yeah. you can really see that, that idea of the body being a husk and being empty. Yes, and especially under a totalitarian regime, which is not going to respect individuality on a person. Mm -hmm. And so they don't care who you are on the inside. They're just interested in um, making you as much a part of the state as possible. Mm -hmm. Very powerful um, imagery in this sculpture. So let's go ahead and start talking about those questions. It says, what is the name of the artworks from 1967 that became um, she became famous for? So a series of monumental fiber sculptures that created the framework for her later work was um, called Avacans. And that one's here. That's it is. that one. And uh, the Avacan sculptures refer to clothing but are not functional. They hang from the ceiling, and although they are, are alluding to human figures, they also reference the natural world. Some will uh, gently swing, suggesting that the rocking of underwater vegetation or the flight of birds, right? So this one is a hanging one. So this one probably is one of the swinging ones. Mm -hmm. um, and then two, why are the sculptures androgynous? The artist wants the viewer to focus on the humanity of the figures rather than their gender. And I think that point comes across pretty well. And I think that war especially when it's in the country mm -hmm. that you're living in, I think it affects both male and female. Mm -hmm. And children. Yes. yes, yes. So it's not like, oh, just all the men are going to war. When World War II happened, and especially in Poland, everybody got affected. Yes. And it was pretty equal, yeah, mm -hmm. equally horrible. Yeah, we actually are pretty lucky in the United States in that a lot of those things didn't directly you know, happen and affect us. Right, right. Um, so three is saying, what else has, uh, does? what else does she want you to focus on when you're looking at Androgyny 3? At the same time, the fragmentary, so this is a quote from her, right? Uh, the fragmentary nature of the figures is important, perhaps a reflection of the time she spent helping Sorry, this isn't a quote. No, it she spent helping in the hospital wing during World War II and her memories of the attack on her mother. So she, um, her mother was attacked by a soldier and he mm -hmm. shot her arm off. Yes. And you were saying before that there was a lot of, um, that her sculptures are oftentimes missing body parts. Right. For that very reason. And the fact that she worked in a hospital as a teenager and when she worked in the hospital, of course, during this time, you're going to see a lot of amputations and things like that that are going to happen to people. Yeah, she must have had a lot of trauma from all of that. Too. Oh, yes. That is something that art is uh, usually pretty good at helping people with. It's kind of like a journal. We talked about it with Frida Kahlo before. Absolutely. 
And I'm sure that this helped her kind of work through some of those traumas that she undoubtedly must have had after mm -hmm. dealing with such scary things. So if there's nothing else. Then... No, I think we're finished with um, androgyny. All right. Thank you for watching.